Well, high heat means it's all hands on deck for the city's Office of Emergency Management and Communication. They want to make sure everybody has access to resources and ways to cool off. CBS 2's own Asal Rezai is uh, on the lakefront right now with a little bit more on uh, what they're doing and ways to beat the heat. Good morning, Asal. Yeah, Chris, good morning to you. Uh, ways to beat the heat today will include uh, probably lots of water and air conditioning, right? But not too bad right now on the lakefront. Want to kind of give you a look at what we're seeing this morning. Step into my office. It's a beautiful uh, skyline shot for you here right on the lake. You can see zero wind out here is what it looks like. Very still water. We're feeling a very light breeze. We've got some people hanging out uh, on the beach here. That's what you hear going on behind us. It's a beautiful night going into the morning and you'll notice it's a bit muggy as you're stepping out in parts of the city. Humid as Laura mentioned, but not too bad right now here on the lake. Perfect conditions uh, to go out for a run that could change once the sun comes up. You can expect to see lots of alerts and advisories coming up on your phone, popping up uh, across uh, the day today. As temperatures climb, best thing to do really is to stay indoors. If you can, Chicago Emergency Management Office sent out a list of cooling centers and we'll make that easy to find for you on our website. They're open from 9 to 5 at six community service centers across the city right now. That includes locations in Englewood, the Trina Del Villa uh, Center on North Avenue. Also, the cooling area at Garfield Center on Kedzie on the west side. That one is open for 24 hours. You can also find relief at any of the city's public libraries. Uh, you can find splash pads also if you want to get the kids out and uh, enjoy some water outside. That is being hosted at uh, Chicago uh, Park District Field houses and we'll tell you the same thing that we do uh, tell you in the winter time during severe weather you got to check on your neighbors check on uh, any senior citizens that you know live in your area any relatives uh, some of the same safety protocols do apply uh, for cold weather as they do when it is hot things heating up out here we'll bring you updates as the day goes on the sun's going to come up and we're going to really start to feel the heat i'm live at north avenue beach this morning i saw cbs 2 news